Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, we're continuing a kind of sequences, a sequence of uh, of uh, tutorials here, talking about uh, editing, kind of fine tuning, cleaning things up. We uh, a couple episodes ago, we went over the assembly mode here, the assembly layout, and showed you how to basically get a, a basic edit, get the shots that you need down inside your timeline. And uh, kind of my method is uh, for for editing, kind of a typical method for editing is to get your shots down inside the basic shots that you need down inside your timeline first of all, and then you go through and start cleaning it up and trimming your shots and getting everything kind of fine tuned. Uh, so I usually do the, the the initial edit in assembly mode and get my uh, my shots. Assembled. In fact, if you look, I kind of intentionally left uh, mismatched some things just so we could fix them here. But this is kind of the process. We play through this here. We've got this shot where this lady lifts up the gun, and then we cut to the next shot, and she lifts up the gun again. So this is a continuity error here. But like I said, I just kind of got the bit shots in order that I needed, uh, in the order that I needed to kind of tell the, the, the um, kind of loosely cut them into the into the timeline. So I play through there. She lifts the gun, lifts it again, and a continuity error. So I'm going to go to the editing layout here. I kind of like after I get through the assembly mode and get the basics done, I go into editing mode. It gives you a little bit more timeline space a little bit more space to kind of to do your editing here but in this episode I'm showing you guys the ripple and roll edits and how to um, I showed this in a previous episode but now I kind of want to show it in like a kind of a practical manner here uh, so I went through ripple, ripple and roll but here we're going to go through uh, these tools and explain how these are going to help us clean things up so the ripple tool is the letter B for to select that and the roll tool if we hold this down hover over it and click on this the roll edit is the letter N so I'm going to be using those shortcuts the letter B as in Bob to go to the ripple tool and the letter N to go to the roll tool. And you see those icons change here. Watch my little icon change as I go from the roll edit, gives you this yellow tool that goes left or right, and then the roll tool, which goes uh, double arrow to left and right. Let's say we want to trim the shot where she's lifting up the gun. We want to take off a few frames. Uh, and one way of doing that, we sh I showed in the previous episode that you can just simply hit W and it cleans it. But I am actually demonstrating the ripple tool. And this is going to lead into the next episode where you got to really understand what ripple and roll, uh, how ripple and roll works. So I'm going to demonstrate it here. So I'm going to hit B for my ripple tool. And what the ripple tool does is that you get it down here next to this edit. And uh, the arrow points uh, either left or to the right here, that yellow, and then it's got a little cross through it, meaning that there's nothing will function there at all. Uh, so you have to get it close to the edit here, and all of a sudden it says, uh, this is going to edit this clip to the left, it's out point. And if you move it over here, it will edit this clip's in point. Uh, and what it will do is if I grab this and trim it to the left, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm trimming this shorter, then when I let go, it will fill the gap. So basically, that's like that's like doing this with my. If I choose use my selection tool and trim this, and it leaves that gap there. We just change that clip's out point. You have to select the gap and hit delete. It does that all in one move. And what you'll see up here in the corner. So hit B for my ripple tool. Uh, you'll see up up in my program monitor here, you'll see that I'm changing this clip's out point, and you see it's you'll, you see a visual to the left there, which represents the, the clip to the left's uh, new out point. And you, and you can also extend expand this as well. So your ripple tool will also expand this. It will also it can expand this out point. If you grab it and drag it to the right, it's expanding it, and then when you let go, it will shove everything else down. So let's use this ripple tool here to get my edit fine-tuned. What I'm going to do is find out where I want this edited to. Because uh, right there, her gun is lifted all the way up, and then it cuts, and it lifts up just about like five, six more frames. So I'm going to bring this back, maybe about right there, and we can give that a try. I'm going to move down and grab uh, the edge of this and drag it over. And we can use the ripple tool here to kind of visually match. the Look at the elevation of the gun in both shots here. And drag this out point until her hand is about, in the same, about the same elevation there. And then I let go. And let's play through that and see how it looks. It looks like it needs a little bit more, maybe a couple frames off this edge here. So I'm going to do a couple more. And I like that. That looks that looks better. So the ripple tool is a really good tool to match. You can you, you can uh, uh, do that to your either your clips in point or the other clips out point. I'm going to undo that. Let's go over here and look at. There's another mismatch here down the line. She, she pulls back the, the hammer on the gun, and here's a click. The guy turns his head and looks. And right here, he turns his head and looks again. So now I have to uh, match the in point rather than the out point of this clip. Because this one, he's already turned his head. And on this one, I'm going to grab the clip's in point and drag it over to get exactly the same where, right where his head is, right there. And let's see how that looks. I can arrow through this. I'm going to arrow to the right and kind of see if it matches. It looks like it matches. That looked pretty good. So... There we go, and that looks good. So that's basically the ripple tool. And the ripple tool, once again, will change a clip's in point or another clip's out point without affecting the clip next to it, and it will compensate by moving everything down the timeline or filling the gap, depending on if you're trimming it shorter or you're, uh, or, or you're extending the clip. All right, the roll tool. 
I'm going to hit the letter N for roll, and it brings up this little double arrow when I put bring it in between uh, these this edit when I put it on this edit right here. Now that I've got this shot matched, the roll edit can be used uh, for, for timing on an edit. So we played through this. Let's say she's at, lifting up the gun. She lifts it up, and that matches. But let's say we want to cut a little bit earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this edit right here, and I'm going to drag it to the left. And look what's happening up in my window here. We have uh, both of these. We have the clip's out point, the, the clip to the left's out point, and the clip to the right's in point moving at the same time. So this is affecting both clips. It's compensating, but if I drag it to the left, it's extending the clip's in point while trimming the, the clip to the left's out point. And vice versa, if I drag it this direction as well. So let's say I want that to happen a little bit earlier. So I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to trim it to the right. Let's say we want just barely see that gun kind of come above the couch right there, and then we cut to the over the shoulder. And there we go. And I let go. The edit's done. Let's play through that. And see now we're on this over the shoulder a little bit longer, or we can even let's let's just trim that just a couple more frames, maybe about right there, and play through it. And there we go. So it just depends on where you want that timing to happen, and that's basically your your ripple and roll edit. Uh, very useful. A shortcut, by the way, for choosing for doing a, a roll edit here is uh, if I, you can be on your regular selection tool, moving tool here, you can be uh, selecting your clips or whatever, uh, but you. A shortcut for choosing your ripple or your roll edit is to get your mouse over your edit here and you hold down control and if you move it right in the middle of the edit, uh, now I'm getting my uh, roll edit tool. And if you move it to the left, you get your ripple and that way you don't even have to ever choose those tools. You can just move your mouse down. Right now I'm on my regular trim tool. If I hold down control, it changes it to my ripple tool. If I move it slightly to the right, there's my uh, edit that clips in point with ripple and over to the left, uh, edit that clip uh, to the left's out point uh, just by holding down control or it would be a command on a Mac would do that. So you really don't need to go over and select these tools or even do the shortcuts to select the tool. You can just hold control and it, can, and it turns your, your selection tool into those items just by moving it around on this edit here. And once again, uh, so the, the ripple tool is really good for uh, matching uh, continuity from edit to edit. And then the roll tool is, is excellent uh, for changing the timing on, on the edit where you want the, uh, once it's matched, where you want the edit edit to occur. Uh, the next episode I'll be covering the trim window and we'll be using the ripple and roll tools and we'll, sh we'll show you a little concept called dynamic trimming as well. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post them.